Right, so we're here at Gatwick Airport and we're off to Lanzarote. So yes, we've just got back from Tenerife, yes, but we decided but to book for Lanzarote. What I was trying to say was mm. to get like, how are we going to get to Lanzarote if we don't get on a plane? Like, we're at the airport, and you know which kind of plane we're getting on? To it! <laughs> what? Right, so we just got through security, and we are now just getting ourselves something to eat before we get on the plane. Um, as I said before, we're flying with Tui, we're going on a Dreamliner. So once we get on the plane, I can show you, quickly give you a little scan around to see what that looks like. But yeah, Sophie's just going to WH Smith's to go and get us a sandwich. So this time, uh, we're flying with Jet 2 and we're getting on a Dreamliner. I'm hoping that the when we get to the terminal, so where the plane is kind of thing, I'm hoping that, there's, that we don't have to go downstairs. Because last time when we flew from Stansted, well, every time we go from Stansted, we have to walk down the bloody stairs with the pram and all the bags and everything. It's an absolute nightmare because the lifts are never on. Um, so hopefully this one just walk straight onto the plane. So fingers crossed. But uh, I'll let you know if what what happened. Right, so just walk into the terminal. You see like planes landing and stuff. It's a really nice view actually of the airport. Um, but I reckon that's our plane just down there, that, that one there. So hopefully it is. Um, and we don't have to get on walk along the runway. Um, you can see a Norse plane over there. That's the new one. They fly to America do good deals but yeah you got EasyJet, TUI, Norse, British Airways, all sorts. Right see you on the plane. Alright so we're now on the plane we're on the Dreamliner we did manage to get on the jetty straight onto the plane without having to go down any stairs. There's a few lifts but that's okay that's not as bad as going downstairs so we're happy. Also when we booked absolute massive palaver we booked last minute um, so we booked yesterday, yesterday, day before, we booked, booked two days ago and now we're on the plane. And when we actually booked they sat us separately and they didn't give us any option to change the seats. Um, so we had to call up the airline and try and get us together. So me and Jack are together and Sophie, Charlie and Noah are together. Um, we were a bit spread out all over the plane. But we've spoken to the staff and they've sorted out an extra row for us. So me and Jack are here to get on our own, which is great. Thank you very much, Tui. Um, and then Sophie, and like I say, they're down there, so we'll just spin the camera around. I don't know if we'll be able to see them. We'll go see them later. Um, so yeah, Sophie's got Noah on her lap and she's got Charlie, so I'm, I might ask her, well I've already said to her, if she wants Charlie to come over here then he will, and we just have the boys over here, but um, yeah, Charlie likes his mum at the moment, so I don't know if that's going to happen, but yeah, it looks like a really nice plane, lovely staff, um, so looking forward to the flight. How you getting on, Soph? You enjoying it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I just feel really restricted, you can't do nothing, don't know where to put him. It's awkward not being together, isn't it? Yeah, he's really awkward. Charlie's sleeping, so that's alright. And I'm glad he brought his little turtle because he's quite a pillar. <laughs> Bless him. I'm going to eat Charlie's skips. Oh, yeah. Right, so we just got through customs and we've just arrived in Lanzarote Airport. Here we are. 
There's the family. <laughs> oh, look, Jack, there's a new Jurassic Kingdom thing. The Jurassic Golf, we're going to do that. Right, so now we've got to get um, our baggage and we've got to go to the car place to get the car. So we'll see you uh, probably when we get to the hotel now. So we're finally on our way. We're just in the car now. We've got 35 minutes to our journey. And um, yeah, can't wait to get there. Finally in the car. Uh, the flight was really, really good. It was nice and quick. Um, quick landing and everything. So me and Chris were separated. I had Noah and Charlie and it was a little bit difficult but it was all right, you know, like, we managed. Chris had, um, had kids, Jack. Yeah, kids have still got loads of energy as you can hear. Yeah, so Charlie crashed, he had a little sleep and uh, Noah had a couple of cat naps. Jack hasn't slept but he's uh, been up since 4 a.m. Oh, Chris has just done the wind wipers. <laughs> that was no one's bottom. Um, yeah, so we're just driving to a hotel, 35 minutes. That's a bit loud, Chris. Um, <laughs> a bit dry screen. Uh, yeah, so I'll turn it. No one's screaming his head off. Let me just um, turn you around. Um, how can I do this camera? There we go. Finally done it. So, yeah, this is... Uh, Dry, it? Looks very, very dry. That's what we noticed um, from Tenerife, going to Tenerife. It's so green. And um, yeah, out here in Lanzarote, you don't realise it's actually quite dry. It's a bit of a blanket of a cloud at the minute, but it's very warm. It's 25. So um, yeah, lovely and warm. So I feel like I've just jinxed it. I just said there's a blanket of a cloud or just like dark clouds and now it started raining <laughs> oh there's our dodgy window wipers <laughs> Chris is driving what does it feel like driving in Lanzarote? yeah nice roads are nice got a nice car um, yeah we've got a nice little um, apart from the windscreen right? yeah they need a washing I think Noah's uh, <laughs> doing a native call in the back there. Yeah. <laughs> you right boys? <laughs> the boys are enjoying themselves aren't you? Yeah. yeah. yeah Alright so let's do a room review of the Sandos Papagayo. So just behind me is my, is my room, or our room. So it's room 1126. So it's on the 11th floor. So let's go in. And let's see what it's like. So you can see the madness has already begun. The family are in. <laughs> so immediately as you walk in, first impressions, it's really nice and bright and clean. Um, and, and new. Looks new, doesn't it? Yeah. So as you look to the right, there's the bathroom. So let's have a little look at the bathroom. So over here, it's quite a big bathroom. So we've got a bath and a shower. Looks pretty nice, one of them big rain showers. You've got a, a mixer tap as well. There's a little bit of damage on that panel there, but you know, this is, this is not a, a brand new hotel and this isn't the top room. There is another level room you can get, which we did actually look at in reception. And it's another 1100 euros to upgrade from what we pay from this um so i don't think we'll be doing that we'll be keeping this one but anyways we've got two sinks his and hers sinks is this a real drawer it is a real drawer okay we've got a hair dryer um there's a bidet and there's a little toilet hiding there in the corner yeah it looks all right nice nice big bathroom there so Coming into the rest of the room, we've got a mirror there. Nice little shelf to put your keys and bits and pieces. So we have got, obviously as you like probably know, we've got three children. So we're gonna be quite cramped in here, but it is quite a good size room to be fair. So we've got a nice big um, cot for Noah. Obviously we've got two 
They look like got, um, they look oh, like single good. beds. That's a real mattress. Ah! I mean, it's quite big. Once you put it together, they are, it's quite a big bed. Yeah, they're oh, like single a, beds. There's a nice wardrobe here. Let's have a look in a wardrobe. So you got your hanging space there, a couple of shelves. Got some spare pillows. Is that a spare pillow is a du big duvet. And Jack's getting in the wardrobe. You'll fall. Get out, please. You're a silly sod. Uh, a safe. Do you need to... No, I think you just use your codes. So that's free. That's good. It's included. Um, but we don't use that really because all the staff know how to open it anyway. So it doesn't make any difference. <laughs> there is a fridge. There's a nice little TV there. Samsung. There is a, a fridge in the room. Now, when I stayed here years ago, this was actually stocked up. It does actually look like it needs a bit of a clean, or maybe it's just a bit old. Um, but yeah, in the Royal Elite level, you do actually get a, a mini bar in there, but there's nothing in there at the moment. So we've got a kettle um, with some coffee sachets and tea. So if you just open the curtains, it doesn't look too bad in there. No. Nice full length mirror for when we're getting ready in the afternoons for um, dinner. Hello everyone. See your, uh, belly expanding. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's see my belly expanding, yeah. So you've got a nice chair there in the corner. If you want to sit, I'll probably be working there because I'm working on this holiday. The, uh, or on the balcony actually, yeah. So normally this is a bed, uh, a settee. So normally I think this is a sofa, but we've got it as a bed. As I say, there's lots of staying in the room, so we needed it as a bed. Well, Chris is, Chris is asleep here. Yeah. He'll take the whole thing up. Probably. <laughs> uh, and then obviously me, um, Charlie and Jack are in the bed, and then Noah will be in the cot. Yeah. Yeah, we'll suss it. Um, is there bedside drawers? There is. Little telephone there as well. He's quite cool, these little reading lamps. Um, but yeah, nice, nice big bright picture there as well. Yeah, all in all, pretty good, pretty good room. Feels like nice. Let me um, have a quick seat on here before. Right, let's have a little. Oh. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's quite firm. But yeah, we'll let you know how, how that goes. We'll let you know how the mattresses are. See if they're um, they're any good. So this it's quite a big terrace, really, isn't it? Yeah, I just said to much bigger than normally. When you're an adult, it don't matter, does it? But like when you got kids, I'm like that instant like gut feel. I was like, don't, don't even attempt to. Yeah, I hate that. Yeah, I hate that. Yeah. It's good that the table's over here. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. We'll have to keep it's an eye on really that. Important. Yeah. So we're on the eleventh floor. Well, it says the eleventh, but I don't know if it actually is eleven floors. It might well be from the ground floor at the front down there. So this is the view anyway. So you can see. Um, all the other areas there. And we've got the island over there. It's a bit of a cloudy day today, actually. And you've got a nice pool. We've got a couple of pools in here, and there's another one down there as well, I think. Um, yeah, so all sorts. That's that's the entertainment area just over there. That's the reception. There's a bar just over there. There's mini golf just over there. Um, I think there's a bar just down there as well. Um, all right, that might be the bar actually, but I think that was a bar, but I think it's under construction at the moment. Um, but it looks like there's loads of lovely places to sit. And then just over there, you can see the Vulcan Hotel. Um, yeah. So all in all, not a bad room. Looking forward to staying, really. Um, but we'll let you know how the bed was and how we're getting on with the room as the week progresses. Come on, who gets daddy? Go. <laughs> Uh, right now, I'm I'm pretty sure. Yeah, let's get this lift. So we're at a hotel, and uh, we're just having a little explore, really, aren't we, so We're not at a hotel. I said we're at a hotel. Oh, we said that we're at. It's because I'm from Essex, isn't it? No, we're mate. We're at the hotel, in it. Right, Charlie, come away from the door. Jack, where are you? Coming in, in here. Right, so when you get in the lifts, they're all glass like this, how good's that? And then look at that view, look. Can't, can't buy that view, can't buy that view. Right, number 12, please, Sophie. Because I'm pretty sure there's a rooftop terrace. 
Yeah, but the body's in the way, don't it? Is it a bit windy here, is it so? This is like a roof terrace area. Um, I think... Yeah, to run around a little bit. Um, so I think these are like suites in there. Um, and there is actually an upstairs as well. But yeah, really nice views in this hotel. Right, so we're now sitting in the pool bar. Um, so it's surrounded, the pool, surrounded by pools. So I'm going to call it the pool bar. And it's like a buffet style. So it's actually really good. Um, so we've just tasted some cakes and they actually tasted like what they look like. So it's quite a shock in an all inclusive. Um, what is it you wanted to say, Jack? I just wanted to say, but look at what I've got. Wow, hot dog. Yes. Oh, yeah. And Fanta Mama. <laughs> no, just leave it on the table to collect it. So, what are you going to go for, so? Alright. So, yeah. Sophie's going to go over there and uh, help herself to some lunch. Alright, so tonight is the end of our first night in the Sandos Papagayo. Um, so, we've been exploring the hotel a little bit. We're going to check out the kids' disco. We might go down to Buffet. We're not sure yet because we had quite a lot of lunch on the pool bar. Um, but if we do, we might take you along and uh, show you what there is. We'll see you there. See you there, y'all.